<clears throat> hey guys, this is Josh McDonald from joshmcdonald.net, um, and today I am going to show you a quick way to find expired Web 2.0 websites. Uh, specifically, we're going to look for expired livejournal.com uh, subdomain names. So recently I found a bunch of articles that I didn't use yet, and I figured I wanted to use a different Web 2.0 uh, platform that I've never used before and I decided to go after LiveJournal.com um, so I went ahead and researched a quick way to find some expired LiveJournal.com domains and I'm going to show you how to do that right now uh, so first we're gonna go to Google and just type in LiveJournal expired uh, what was it here actually it's expunged list like that and here it is the first one and as you can see here are a bunch um, let's go ahead and copy this and what you'll see in a moment here if you paste this you you see it paste with no spaces or anything it's all the usernames combined into one uh, paragraph of text um, so what I did was I right-clicked, um, inspect the element, or you can view source, and then you have to grab, where's the top of this, li is just each of these domain names, the tag that each of these are in, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up to the tag, and closing all these domain, here it is right here, and I haven't done this on Chrome yet, but it's edit as HTML that should do it yeah there it is and basically you'll get all of the um, HTML and closing the username selected here so just go ahead and copy that and then head over back to our uh, text editor and paste that in so now we have all of our HTML um, and closing all the usernames we want to check in our first run um, so what we're going to do is basically, you can use any text editor, this is uh, Sublime Text, um, but you can use Notepad++ is what I use if I'm on Windows. So basically, um, you can see these are, these are all enclosed in these li um, tags. So just take an li tag, and that's what we're going to, whoop, whoop, don't do that, and that's what we're going to search for, and then we're going to replace it. Um, just replace it with a backslash T. That's just a tab. We'll just put a space in it so that we can um, separate all these. So just click replace all. Um, there it is. And now let's copy this all and we'll go back to um, our browser and just type in Google. Um, We'll type in um, strip HTML tags. Go to anyone here. And now that we have um, the, the space is already entered, now you can see that after we strip it, uh, there's now tabs between each username. So we'll now we'll copy this, go back to Sublime Text, uh, paste that in, and then go back to replace the replace function we were using earlier and we're going to find what? We're going to find backslash T and we're going to replace that with a backslash N which will put everything on a new line. So replace all and here we are. They are all lined up and now we'll do replace again and now we're going to replace backslash N with um, dot uh, let's see here. What could we do? Dot livejournal. Dot com backslash n. We want to keep that, and then um, for the next line after it, http um, colon forward slash forward slash, and then we will replace all. And now, as you can see, um, we took the each username, put livejournal. Dot com after it, and put http before it, and still kept them all on their own line. Now, um, depending on if that worked out for you or not, especially if you copy what I did, you'll have to go to the first and last line um, and just add 
www.livejournal.com and the first one you can't see it on my screen it's over the top here but basically I need to add HTTP colon forward slash forward slash to the first one and then we are all set here so now um, you can take this um, this list here how many do we have here we have 500 um, you can go into scrape box right now if you'd like and um, I'm on Mac so I don't have scrape box on this computer but there are options that I'm going to show you right now uh, you can go on scrape box and use they have an add-on called it is called I have it right here somewhere add-on called the vanity name checker and you can use that to check over to make sure that they are all still available because that list that we have on live journal may not be current you know may some may be snatched up if you want to use that you can use that but you can also go right into the scrape box page authority add-on and check over the page authority of these um, web 2.0s um, I'm going to do this on Mac and I'm going to try to find a free source online that will do this for me so I'll just copy this the 500 URLs go over to Google and I'm going to type in um, free page authority checker now some of these don't work some of these do um, it's a matter of trial and error usually but if this um, like this one doesn't work if this doesn't end up working I didn't prepare for this video by finding one that works <clears throat> You can of course just uh, just go use Scrapebox if you're on a Windows computer. Enter URL. These are all doing manual. Um, let's do bulk PA checker. Maximum ten URLs. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um try a couple more here and I'll call it quits in a minute. One per line, maximum one hundred, that should work. Hopefully they'll truncate it for me. <clears throat> um if you have a, a membership for uh Ahrefs or Majestic, you can go ahead and do that. Um, Site Explorer on Ahrefs and then do a batch analysis of all of these. One of these hopefully will finish up sometime today. Um, so on our first run, let's see if we have any hits at all. Uh, I'll sort by total links, although I don't think I saw a single link. Oh, there's one right there that has a whole three backlinks. Anyways, so this is just a matter, as you can see, these first few, though, let's go back and look at what we had here um, they look pretty spammy I mean you can look they look pretty automated uh, just by just by looking at it, you can see they're all digits um, not really anything brandable or anything that a user would have actually owned um, so I mean this is a free method but it is a matter of searching through all of these as you can see, it starts with A. They're alphabetically sorted. So now, if we started here um, and did this all over, you can see there are some more. You know, these look like real users. Um, Alex, I see a few Alexes. Um, but at the start, you know, it starts with zero, does the digits, and then it goes to A, 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 B, A, C, A, D. Um, anyways, so it's just a matter of clicking, see more results, uh, getting past those digits. Um, or check them over like I did and go through them all um, and then popping them into the into any backlink checker just to see if you can find something worthwhile um, yeah this one's not gonna work so I would I would hop on to scrape box if you own it otherwise I imagine if you search the first page of results you might be able to find one that works here there's literally a ton well, anyways 
Um, quick little video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope I helped you. Hope you learned something. And uh, good luck with building out your live journal web 2.0.